apostles, being quickened daily by the Holy Spirit, understood that they needed to stay in the game. That they needed, that they needed to exercise biblical staying power. So we have six points of how to exercise that in your life that we'll share with you today. And point one is, I already gave it away, stay in the game. Stay in the game. So listen, in verse 3, it's very clear what it says. Therefore they stayed there a long time. Not a short time. A long time. Speaking boldly. Boldly in the Lord. It's different. He doesn't say speaking boldly of the Lord. There's a difference. Speaking boldly in the Lord. You can speak of the Lord. Hallelujah. You can speak in the Lord. Speak in the Lord is not of your words, not of your power, not of your might. But allowing the Holy Spirit just to take over your tongue, your thought, your walk, your life. Speaking boldly also means something else. Speaking confidently. Knowing that what you speak, you believe, you are assured of it, and you walk it out. Christians are not called to be talkie-talkies. We're called to be walkie-talkies. You guys remember those things, walkie-talkies, back in the day? See, we're supposed to walk out that which we talk. We're supposed to be doers of the word, as James says. But they stayed there a long time. They spoke boldly. In the Lord, who was bearing witness to the word of his grace, granting signs and wonders to be done by their hands. They stayed in the game. After countless incarcerations, after countless beatdowns, criticisms, threats, they stayed in the game. Amen. And again, church, we, we, we live in a culture where we just want to cut out. See, but when the going gets tough. The tough does not get going out the door. The tough gets going to the field. And they stay in the game. Because unless you walk on the field, you will never experience victory. You can't experience victory lest you play the game. And I say experience victory because the battle's already been won. You see, the Lord has already won. The war 2,000 years ago, the cross, Calvary, points us to victory. To experience, you have to walk in it. To experience it, you have to stay in, say it with me, the game. 